there you see one of the most feared and skilled men in all of the martial arts, San Show fighter Kung Lee. His hands and feet are beyond belief. He will be performing in a demonstration bout in just a few minutes, but earlier we talked to the master about his fighting style. I try to be clean combos, like uh, set up. Um, I, I use the boxing to set up the kicks. Um, I, I'm still working on my boxing, um, so it, it can you know improve a lot more. But right now the hands really set up the kicks, which is my strong point. You've watched. All right, we're ready for a special, what they call exhibition, but you're going to see some full contact action. Sancho Demo, Kong Lee, and his partner, Alan uh, Marta Villa. And uh, I tell you, Superfoot, this could be very interesting, huh? Well, it's very similar to Muay Thai, except they allow throws and takedowns. So you're going to see a lot of leg kicks, a lot of high spinning movements, good, hawk, strong uh, boxing techniques, because jabs, crosses, right hands, uppercuts. Same thing that you would see in boxing, along with the Muay Thai leg kicks, the spinning movements, the the darting in and out, the throws. It's very exciting to, to watch. I tell you, Kung Lee is one of the best. And let's go up to ring announcer Danny Valdivia for the official Ladies announcement. Gentlemen, this is a Sanshu demonstration. I repeat, demonstration featuring Kung Lee and Alan Mardavia. First, onto the ring. That is Kung Lee. He does have the black shorts traditional to some degree look like Muay Thai shorts basically they are what they're Muay Thai shorts yeah. and uh, the techniques I like I said are very 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 similar except it's called freeform fighting Sancho is normally uh, done on a platform called a lay tie and if you knock your opponent off the ring uh, out of the platform uh, twice in one round you win the round and there you see one of the differences from Muay Thai is grabbing the opponent's leg and making a strong throw and taking him down like that. Two two-minute rounds are scheduled here. Kong Lee without the shirt and Alan Martavia in the black tank top. So you notice the hand techniques are very similar to boxing. Matter of fact, they are boxing techniques because you're wearing boxing gloves. Right. Yep. Kong was a, a bronze medalist at two world uh, Wushu championships, uh, one in China, one in Italy. Uh, excuse me, one in uh, Baltimore, Maryland in 1995. Uh, actually, I was on the same team with him, so I should know. <laughs> and uh, in Italy last year. It's in very good physical condition. It, if you can see the musculature of the legs, the musculature of the shoulders, uh, the deltoids, uh, the upper arms, very strong, very quick. And from watching a lot of Muay Thai, I know that when you're able to take your opponent down, as he is doing here, and what you can do here in Shen, Shen Shou, it takes so much out of your opponent. It's an amazing amount of energy to take the fall and also have to get back up. Land on your back three or four times and see if you kind of want to stay there after Absolutely, a while. Yeah. Kong is a very scientific trainer. A lot of people uh, see him perform and say, wow, he just looks like an animal. But uh, he's very, very particular about his diet, his uh, uh, rest habits, his training schedule is all very scientifically mapped out. No, I, I hate to disagree with it. We had a hamburger a little while ago. <laughs> <laughs> good, good old old-fashioned grease. In training, we uh, uh, we're always drinking wheatgrass and things like that for yeah. weeks. So. Okay, Max is good with yeah. the grease. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good lubrication. A little fiber, a little fiber, and it's regularity. And that is the end of the first two-minute round of the Sancho demonstration with Kung Lee on the right of your screen and Alan Mardavia. And I do see a lot of similarities in uh, what we see American kickboxing. Is it difficult to bounce back and forth between the styles? I mean, if you're in a Muay Thai fight like this, I know you've got the discipline, but to keep yourself from taking a man down like Kung yeah, Lee does well, here on the replay. A couple times you get warned a little bit, and you, then you say, okay, no. But you train, you know, you have a month or two that you can actually train for the fight. You know, here, you know, Kong is, is, is a very good defensive, then he steps inside, which would not be legal in Muay Thai because there's no grabbing or anything like this. But, but again, in Sanshu, this is quite legal. And then you can also, uh, some of the techniques, you can take them down and then continue going. And you see But the here is just demonstration. Grab. Right. So and why take a chance of damaging somebody? I think it adds a lot to, to the sport of kickboxing. Of it's course. It's an entirely new element, entirely new surprise attack. And so there you see Kong Lee ready to complete this demo of Sanshu. Here at the Thunderdome in Santa Barbara, Lon McCarran, Nick Grayson in, and 
Bill Wallace. It really makes you mad he's younger than we are. <laughs> If you notice the leg kicks, they're very strong, very powerful. They're, they're, they're used to weaken your opponent, to weaken his stance, to weaken his movements. And one of the best ways of doing that is very simply to get inside and take him down. Artavia is certainly showing the pain of that throw. Pung was a collegiate wrestling champion. It certainly uh, has proved to be an advantage in his uh, Sancho training. Yep, they got a little tied a little up. A bad on the shoulder there when you take a dive on the mat. The technique that uh, Allen was trying was called a, uh, a fireman's carry. And it's used in collegiate wrestling, used in high school wrestling. That oh. is called a souffle. And it does hurt. <laughs> Especially if you land on the back of your neck. There are the wrestling coming into play big time for Kung Lee. Oftentimes uh, used in Greco-Roman wrestling. Again, another throw attempt, and Martavia now is just a sack of tired muscles. Yes. Can we get this over with? <laughs> <laughs> well, the yeah. scissor takedown. I'm sure at one, you know, one part of his mind is a little bit leery of taking the master down, but you've got to defend yourself. So always the thing, you know, a lot of times when you're sparring, you'll say. You know, if somebody's going to get hurt, I'd rather it be you. <laughs> and then you'll apologize afterwards. You know. Better to ask for forgiveness and permission, Bill. Exactly. You know that. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> He's been down there before. And there are the gong signaling the end of this second two-minute round. Kung Lee and Alan Mardavia. Very exciting. Very exciting. Uh, as, as you see, it's very good technique also. It's not just flailing. It's not just wild movements, but it's very good technique. Right? Nice, strong movements. Nice short crisp punching, nice short crisp kicking. The takedowns are very fluid, very, very innovative, and quick. And the souffle, which uh, takes a lot out of your opponent, and some very surprising moves. There it is, right onto those sh shoulder blades and the neck, which could ruin your whole day. And boy, you grab that one leg, take that underpinning out, and that is just mean. Quite an impressive performance by Kung Lee, and I can't help but wonder how hard he fights when it's a competition instead of a demonstration.